our last buff of today's uh, Debian.org rec uh, related track. Um, we are going to have the wiki buff here in the small round room. And um, Paul Weiss is going to hold that buff with the fuck. us together to discuss the wiki related issues. Okay, so just first of all, a quick what happened in the past year. Um, we've had, where is Sledge gone? <laughs> yeah, so we added a couple of new people to the wiki admin team, Sledge and um, Ashish, who isn't here and didn't really do much. Um, we upgraded the wiki to Squeeze, which was great and lots of fun. Um, we also have the new theme on the wiki, which is the same as the Debian website theme. Um, yeah. So we need more people working in the team. Um, for a start, we need someone to be maintaining more and more in the software that we use on the Debian wiki. It's currently maintained by Jonas Medgar, but it needs a new maintainer because he's got lots of packages and he doesn't maintain it that well. There's one security bug in Squeeze at the moment. Um, it's a cross-site scripting thing that probably needs fixing. So it's reported. Someone needs to maintain the package. Um, any volunteers? Silence. OK, um, so is anyone else interested in getting involved with the admin side of things? That basically involves spammers. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we need more people watching recent changes for spammers and deleting the spam. Um, it's reasonably well done at the moment by people who already do that, but it would be good to have more people to help. Um, so one thing I would like some input on is how to how to get people who are deleting spam to report those spammers to the wiki admin team who would then ban the spammers. Currently we just watch the recent changes and manually do it. So if anyone has any ideas about that, that would be great. Um, any one? I actually had, had the issue of uh, people spamming my, my own wiki. I don't use uh, the same software, I use PM wiki, but one thing that solved it was a CAPTCHA and then I had no, no boats. Uh, but hey, editing the wiki, I don't know, just an idea. So for the Debian wiki, we want to have as low a barrier to entry as possible. Um, so maybe a capture isn't possible for um, the Debian wiki. We discussed this before and decided it was best not to have one. Um, so one other thing that we need to do within Wikiadmin is have some way of coordinating between the people who are banning spammers and so that they don't waste time banning a spammer who's already banned. So uh, if anyone has any thoughts, maybe someone wants to hack the wiki theme to indicate if a username is already banned. Does anyone here know Python and would be interested in Editing the theme. <laughs> I guess that's a no. So we do have a few users who are active. I mean, you know, Paul and I are, as he says, basically watching recent changes. 
hands up anyone else here who's helping out with that? No, I guess not. Um, so what, what we have at the moment is there's, a, there's a, us two, there's about four or five, I think, other users who will go through and delete the spam pages. Uh, but then we still end up having to go through later. We have a script which will um, ban the spam, spam username, will give various bits and pieces of information so we, can post, so we can track the IP address, so we can send uh, spam reports. To be honest, there's very little point on the spam reports because most of the time they're clearly com they're coming from scattered uh, DSL or cable accounts all over the world. You know, it's the usual botnet type of activity. Mm -hmm. um, it's a difficult problem, of course, to keep a low barrier for entry for people putting real information in while keep keeping the spammers out. Yeah. Um, one thing that I suggested to Paul, I mean, f feel free to comment, is it, we might want to actually stop people creating new accounts without being approved by a wiki admin. Um, but I'm worried again that we'll just stop real users contributing. Any thoughts? Um, two things. First of all, I think uh, I, I would go first with this CAPTCHA before requiring approval of users. Um, I think CAPTCHA is a much lower barrier. Um, and I can't remember the second thing right now. <laughs> uh, I use IkiWiki for my blog and I know one of the things it has for comments is running through a spam check filter and having, so the administrator needs to approve anything that appears to, that it might be spam before it actually appears on the. So if we already require users to register an account before they can click edit, right? So we need to show them one single CAPTCHA uh, at the step of registering a new account that already exists. And this CAPTCHA could be from recaptcha.net, which can be audible also. So it's not really something that uh, hurts people with low eyesight or no eyesight. So apparently it's a ac reasonably accessible solution that only needs to be applied once on the account creation, not upon every edit. So it seems useful to me. It's, it's still the same barrier to entry. It's the same procedure, just a little bit longer. On the thing that Blasen um, suggested, um, we are already having some, I think, five seconds delay. When I, at least when I currently save the page, it takes for me some five to ten seconds till I uh, get the uh, page redisplayed, um, adding whatever kind of spam checker in there will just more slow, slow down that process. I'm not sure if that will help. On the other hand, um, they're adding something like claim AV for getting just a suggestion, um, adding some sort of whatever filter to, to, um, with, the, with the common uh, things uh, that usually um, pop up on a wiki page might help, do not know. Uh, another idea as well is that uh, I also have it on, on PM wiki is that spammers would uh, most of the time try to push uh, links to their own websites. So one thing that does work is to approve new URLs by domains. So like, we approve obviously Debian.org and Debian.net, and if we have something external, then we would have some somebody to approve that specific domain name. Which ends up in Yahoo. Um, or Yahoo pages, then would be all whitelisted as well. No, no, explicitly not um, for that kind of thing. Of you know, we're expecting links to 
other technical sites, whether it's Debian, whether it's other Linux distros or whatever, those will be easy. Um, I've forgotten what else I was going to say now. Um, I mean, no, what the problem we're seeing with spam, in fact, we have had a load of things of like the essay writing links and all that kind of bollocks in the past. We're now seeing lots and lots of um, spam pages being added, which are clearly being put in to kill uh, Bayesian statistics. You know, we're seeing links for um, how to get your swimming pool cleaned in Australia or, or you know, stupid things like that. Um, about the only feature that I can, the only common pattern I can see is that typically in those pages there will be four or five identical links to the same other page. We could pick that as a pattern and of course we'll get find the next one and the next one. Um, I think that actually setting up the capture for new accounts is a good thing. I um, mean, would, would anybody agree? Would anybody disagree? Fine, we'll do that. Um, and we can move on to adding extra checks on page save later on. But obviously, I said, we already are seeing very slow page saves. I have no idea why. It's not like the, the wiki takes a huge amount of load that I've seen. Um, but you know, any suggestions gratefully received? I, treat, I tried to debug that once, and um, it was obviously not a uh, missing battery of a, of a RAID controller. It, and it's not um, anything um, related to the hard disks. It seems to be something in, within the software which is slowing down wikidebian.org while writing um, pay, uh, things to the, to the hard disk. Yeah. So uh, it's been a while since I edited uh, the Debian wiki, and I'm not too familiar with w the solutions within the Moin Moin world, but uh, I can talk about some solutions that have been used with MediaWiki and Wikipedia in particular, uh, if you'd like. Please do. So um, there's a uh, edit filter system where you can uh, set up rules with regular expressions to do certain actions and certain types of edits. Um, there's also URL blacklist um, for specific URLs that show up. Uh, and that, that list is public for Wikipedia, so you could potentially if there were such an option for Moin Moin, you could dynamically pull the blacklist that's used on Wikipedia every so often and um, block those same URLs on the Debian wiki. Um, there's a... Um, There's page protection at various levels, so you can um, have a page semi-protected or fully protected. If it's semi-protected, then it can be edited by users that have been auto-confirmed. Um, and it, if it's fully protected, then it can only be edited by um, admins. Uh, Auto-confirmed means it's configurable, but usually it means something like you've made at least four edits and you've been around 20 or so days or something. I think we have some sort of ACLs uh, within the wiki. Yep. Um, just quite a few, uh, it's only a few pages using those ACLs at the moment, like the entry page, for example. Yeah, and there's one or two uh, pages that have had people disputing the content and someone reverts it and reverts it and reverts it. Um, so we've had to use that in some cases, but that's not something, pr it might not be something that would work for spammers. I'm not sure. Also, the, uh, the Wikipedia cluster has integration with at least one RBL, 
I don't know if you have that currently. I don't um, think we do. Um, there is, so one thing that um, you can do with uh, editing links or um, adding new links or uh, any kind of uh, edit filter match, you can have a CAPTCHA just for that and not necessarily for every edit. Or you can have a CAPTCHA just for people that are not auto-confirmed. Um, Sounds like you want to sign up for wiki admin or coding on Moin Moin. <laughs> uh, <No comment. laughs> okay, so maybe we should move on from spam because we could spend the whole day on it. Um, so, some uh, has anyone got some features they would like to see added to the wiki? Um, two things that I'm looking at. At adding one is bug status support for launch pads so you can so that you can hover the bugs um, and get a title whether it's closed or not we have this for the Debian bug if you if you go Debian bug colon um, and then the bug number so that's one thing that I wanted to add soon um, has anyone got any other feature ideas I guess not. Um, so the next topic that I wanted to talk about was merging wiki.debian.org into wiki, wiki.debconf.org into wiki.debian.org. Um, I would like to prob I would like to work on that, but I'm unable to attend the related boff at the end of this week. So if someone could go there and suggest it, that'd be great. <laughs> Merging DebConf Wiki, which uses MediaWiki, into into this one. Into this one. The other way around. No. I mean, if MediaWiki is deployed at Wikipedia, surely it's more scalable than what we have. Perhaps. Yeah, I been doing some spanning cleanup for the DebConf uh, Wiki. Mm -hmm. And I like it a lot, like better. <laughs> Likes. I like very weak. So uh, last I heard, uh, something like 85% of all Wikipedia hits, including logged in users, are uh, cache hits. And that includes all logged in users getting cache misses all the time. So uh, most content being served to anonymous users is straight from Squid, not um, hitting PHP at all. OK, we don't have any front facing proxy at the moment for the Debian wiki. It's just straight into mine, as far as I know. I think I don't think we have a performance issue while reading. Yeah. We do have a performance issue while saving um, wiki pages, but not while reading. I tried that once, um, um, and we ended up with something like you can do 250, 300 simultaneous um, requests on the wiki, and the wiki doesn't get any sort of slower, and the machine loads still stays at the same level. So the reason to but do such a merge would be that there's only one wiki. You don't need to maintain multiple wikis. Um, yeah. I'm not sure whether it's a good idea or not, but that's one idea that I had. Um, is there any more on that topic? Well, if we end in the in, in if in the end we um, end up with maintaining less hardware and less services, I think it's a it's a good idea. On the other hand, perhaps someone from the DebConf org team could also comment on um, 
if that is a thing which is wanted or if that should just um, be on separate infrastructure. Well, I can comment on my personal opinion for that. Um, we'll have this, this topic more or optimizing or improving the debconf.org infrastructure with the Debian a bit. Um, we have a separate buff for this about the whole topic, um, the relationship between Debian and debconf, um, which we had last year in New York, which is a continuation of the topic. Um, that is on the last day of debconf. Um, I don't know the time at the moment. But there will be a topic, and I will have um, better, more opinion from the team. Um, my personal opinion is that I, I'm annoyed by switching between Moin Moin and MediaWiki syntax, and I would like to fix that part. How we implement it on, if on different hardware, different wikis, I don't know. But it seems sensible to have one wiki and different namespaces there. Anything else? Okay, so the last two topics are the re-licensing. The wiki currently has no license at all, except for a few pages that people have said are uh, GPL or whatever. So that's currently stalled because the person who was working on it has gone missing in action or bit really busy. So if someone wants to take up that, that'd be great. Anna, would you like to volunteer? For the re-licensing the wiki. It is more and more, yes. For what is worth, some people was preferring uh, Wiki, uh, Media Wiki. I prefer Moi Moi. I totally was thinking that when Holger said that he preferred having a single Wiki, with Moi Moi having an instance, we can have two separate Wikis. So, well, you prefer, probably know that. So. Okay. Well, what is used when you have made the question? Uh, I don't know if you are mentioning merging the Defcon wiki inside the Debian wiki or just having both them together even if they are in separate instance. So the idea would be to convert all of the DebConf wiki pages into more and more in format and merge them in, in with the, the complete wiki. history, yeah. Okay, I was thinking more I was having both in the same server. Sharing. Well, that, that could also be possible, but my idea was to merge the content into one site. So with the relicensing stuff, um, it needs someone to care about it. At the moment, we don't have any clear copyright for the whole wiki or even for most pages. Or And um, when, this, when the wiki became official, it wasn't, we didn't have any permission to copy those pages into the Debian servers or anything like that. So it's kind of problematic and it's similar to the issues with the website, but it means that we can't necessarily copy content from the wiki to um, packages or whatever. So the plan for that was to choose a license. Um, Franklin chose the Creative Commons uh, CC by SA or CC BY, um, for various reasons. You can look it up on the wiki relicensing re web page, wiki page. Um, and so the idea is to then contact everybody who's contributed to the wiki, because we have all the email addresses from when people signed up, and then um, contact everyone who's edited the wiki and get permission and delete the pages that people haven't given permission for. Um, I have two comments to that. Yep. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't like to have the wiki by default license a CC by SA. CC by I would be fine. But I think it was CC by. Yeah. And the other thing is um, in Debian Edu we use the Streamlink. In Debian Edu we use um, the PDF export, the doc book export from um, Moin, Moin Moin to maintain the, our documentation, which is GPL license, which is find the license of the pages. 
but the dogbok export from moin moin um, is degrading so when yes. the upgrade to squeeze was done now it's still kept keep working but moin moin i think is upstream thinking of remo removing that functionality because they don't have a maintainer for that mm -hmm. and that is becoming really a problem for us if that happens I don't, I don't know if MediaWiki has better dogbook doc export. So um, that brings us kind of to IkiWiki. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, um, some people proposed that Debian Wiki was switched to IkiWiki. No one did anything since then. So if anyone wants to think about looking at it, um, that would be great. If you are a non-Debian developer, I can give you a page dump of all the pages and the revision history and whatever, and you can work on converting it to IkiWiki. Um, there are some features that we rely on, like the bug status links. We have to make sure that these things work and the uh, doc book output. But if we switch to IkiWiki, then you could probably um, use IkiWiki to generate your documentation. And the other advantage of IkiWiki is that translators can use their usual um, translation workflow instead of manually creating pages and keeping them in sync, which they, is what they currently do. So is anyone interested? Hands up if you want Debian to switch to IkiWiki. Hands up if you do not want, uh, if you want Debian to not switch to IkiWiki. <laughs> Hands up if you want to make it, don't care. <laughs> okay. So Anna, could you, and um, I've forgotten your name, mention why you don't want us to use IkiWiki? First of all, I like Moin Moin. I use it in another project, so for me it's easy to, to handle. I think it's a bit more, a lot, and I think it's a lot of more newbie friendly than IkiWiki. I think IkiWiki um, usability very difficult. From time to time, there is people using IkiWiki that, that are using their in, in their blogs, and when I want to comment, it's a pain. I don't. I haven't used it like little, very little IkiWiki, and knows better. Knows better. One mind. That's that's the reason. I'd I'd love IkiWiki for once for the translation support with PO files and the ability to edit pages via Git. So I don't have to use the web interface at all. So that's why I would really be very happy if we would switch to IkiWiki. I think the usability issues in the web GUI can be improved. That's a matter of improving IkiWiki. There is a Debian package called Edit Moin. That is what I usually use, that you don't need to, to use the, the web browser for editing a Moin Moin edition. <laughs> I don't know if what you need, but for me it works very well. <laughs> I want to write it directly from my mind, but... So the other thing about Git is that um, Moin Moin 2, they're planning to add different backends, and I think some of those include VCS backends, which would be interesting. But that's a long way off, I think. Plus one for IkiWiki, because I think it's uh, uh, much, more, uh, uh, much more intended for technical persons like Debian. There are many processes like uh, Git and, and others that said uh, can be uh, well integrated. And if it's uh, well set up, I think the commenting and, and similar issues can be avoided. 
because it's very uh, customizable, at least I think. So one, one other thing about IkiWiki um, and Moin is what wiki format do people prefer? Currently Moin has its own syntax. With version 2 it's going towards a format called Creole which is supposed to be an inter-wiki interchangeable format. Um, I'm not sure how that's going, but so that's one thing to think about as well. Yeah. And IkiWiki uses Markdown by default, but it has multiple out inputs. Yes, I, I'm using IkiWiki, and it is very well maintained by Joey Hess. So, uh, and it does not use PHP. So. <laughs> So that uh, is a good point for avoiding uh, various security holes that have been found in PHP code. To be I'm fair, not saying it's in Moin Moin, but possible, yeah. To be fair, pretty much all wikis have had security problems in the past, including IkiWiki and Moin Moin and whatever else. Of course, the big issue is if we do switch to another wiki engine, is just physically finding the manpower to do it. Uh, unless we actually have a lot of volunteer effort, I, can't, I just can't see it happening at all. I mean, exactly. The people who, who are, who are push, suggesting icky wiki, are you actually prepared to help us do it, or would you just like it if somebody else did? Exactly. I personally don't have time to do such a project. I imagine it will be quite a lot of work, especially since the format needs to change, probably. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I've done a move um, before in the past, well, several times from one bit of wiki software to another. Christ, it's a pain. Yeah. I'd be happy to do it for the Debian Edu na sub namespace on the Debian wiki to move to IkiWiki. So if you want to try that, um, all Debian developers have access to the wiki host. So you can log in and the pages are in slash serve, slash wiki. I wouldn't want to try it. I personally not, but somebody else. But I, I want to do the work if the move has been done. Okay. So if anyone wants to try it, if you're a Debian developer, you can log into the server and look at the pages and copy them out or whatever. Um, if you're not a Debian developer, I can provide a tarball dump of the whole thing if you want. It's about 700 meg, I think, total. I would need to dig up. I don't, do not know. Yeah. I think that's the size of the last one that I gave to the people who proposed IkiWiki last year and didn't do anything. So uh, we have a couple of minutes left. Anything else? Nope. I, I have one more idea of, with the migration thing that uh, I saw somewhere as uh, uh, with the uh, migration with wikis that uh, they uh, started a new wiki and uh, there was no real migration with the content. As, uh, as you mentioned, and there were two par parallel sites uh, which uh, we, we should really avoid. <coughs> yeah, yeah the, I think that's kind of interesting because it ties in with one way to do the relicensing stuff. You could uh, check each page. My opinion is, is avoid if possible. Avoid if possible, yeah, I definitely agree there. But it does tie in with the relicensing. You could check each page one at a time and copy them as well, they what, are approved. What could be done is if the one wiki is giving a 404, you could dynamically redirect to the other wiki and try yeah. if, if you find it there. But that's not the best way to set up. Sure. Okay, I guess we're out of time. No? 
<lacht> One more minute. Um, just checking on the IRC channel. Um, we do have a couple of questions um, or suggestions. We can whitelist wiki accounts which have contributed wiki entries and were fine. I guess obviously that's for the anti-spam. And then only check accounts which aren't in that whitelist. And also, in fact, the same guy asking, can we add login via OpenID? Um, I do not know if you were on this morning's DSA talk. Um, we were speaking about having some sort of sign-on possibility, at least for the Debian developers. I do not know if that could also be done for, let's say, uh, Alios. So you could use, have, use your Alios account for that. Do not know if you want to do open idea for that. I believe the wiki software supports open ID. But it's a policy question whether yeah. we should enable it. Not sure, but definitely single sign-on would be a lovely thing to have. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I'll ha I'll happily work with you on that. Right. If any any last comments from anybody else? Okay. Before everyone leaves, um, there were.